ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏகலைவா கிளாஸ் டூ சப்ஜெக்ட் இவிஎஸ் அண்ட் டாபிக் அவர் கிரீன் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் சில்ட்ரன் கேன் யூ கெஸ் ஹூ இஸ் அவர் கிரீன் ஃப்ரெண்ட் இஸ் த கிரீன் பிளான்ஸ் ஆர் அவர் கிரீன் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் சி வி கெட் ஃபுட் ஃப்ரம் பிளான்ஸ் ஃப்ரெஷ் வெஜிடபிள்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் ஆர் ஒன்லி ஃப்ரம் த பிளான்ஸ் plants are of different sizes and shapes isn't it we can see many types of plants around us children this is my eyes this is my ears we have all these things as our parts of our plant body similarly animals also have tails horns claws and paws as their parts same way plants too have their own body parts let's check what are they Look at this picture. When you plant a new seed inside the soil, first part which develops from that is the root. Root slowly grows into stem. Then we can see the leaves. Later, after some time, we can see flowers. And these flowers will change into fruits. So, root, stem, leaf, flower and fruits. all these are the main parts of this plant see i can see with my eyes same way these parts also perform some specific functions for the plant let's see what are they first root roots helps the soil to hold tightly in the plant these roots absorbs water and minerals from the soil next stem second part is the stem the stem grows make the plant to straight up and stand right they also carries fun from plant to all the parts of the plant next is the leaf see a mother prepares food in the kitchen same way leaves are called the kitchen for the plant because they prepare food for the plant leaves are the plant kitchen for the plant they prepare with the air water and sunlight for the food next is the flowers flowers are the beautiful part of the plant because we can see many types many colors of flowers all around us and slowly they will turn into fruits 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 are the sweet part of the plant fruits have seeds inside them and these seeds make the plant to grow to new plant these seeds grow into a new plant so all these are body parts of the plant root stem leaves flower fruits and seeds are the main parts let's see types of plants see we have seen many types of plants around us isn't it some are big some are small some are weak some are strong so all these are there let's see what about that first is the trees you would have seen big trees isn't it so they are very huge they have woody stems strong woody stems this is called as trunk the strong woody stem of the plant, trees are called stem trunk and trees are the big plants so trees are very big and strong plants and they have the wood stems and we'll see the examples for trees neem tree banyan tree and peepal tree are the examples for trees and we can also have apple tree and mango tree as our examples next is the shrubs look at this picture this plant is very small not that much small it is not tall like tree or so also it is small but it is bushy isn't it so these plants are called as shrubs shrubs are always small woody stems and they are bushy we'll see the examples of shrubs rose plants ibiscus and jasmine plants all these are shrubs see look at them they are near to the ground next is the herbs 
herbs are very small plants they grow close to the ground herbs are very small and weak plants they grow near to the ground we'll see the examples for that see coriander mint and spinach all these are examples of herbs so look at them they are very close to the ground they grow close to the ground next is the climbers see these plants are very weak they can't stand straight they need support to grow so they'll climb when when you give a support they'll start to climb with that so they will started to climb on that one so they are called as climbers they are very weak plants so they are weak stem and they need support to grow we'll see the examples for them see grape vine and pea plants are the examples for climbers next is the creepers creepers can also is a weak stem they can't stand straight so they grow along the ground they grow along the ground so they also have weak stems and they grow along the ground we'll see examples for that pumpkin and watermelon they are the examples for the creepers and they grow near to the ground very close to the ground so we have trees shrubs herbs climbers and creepers or all the types of plants next we'll move on to the food items we get from the plants plants are very useful to us we eat all parts of the plant see for example for roots we eat the roots of carrot and radish we eat the roots of these fruit these roots from the plants and we eat the stems of sugar cane and celery so we eat these stems as a food and we also eat the cabbage and lettuce as leaves then cauliflower and broccoli as flowers we eat the flowers of cauliflower and broccoli we also eat the seeds like cereals and pulses as seeds and fruits even fruits we eat as banana and apples as fruits so uh, plants gives us all these food items from the body parts and we, they also gives us nuts dry fruits tea coffee sugar and cocoa from the plants so we get all these things coffee tea sugar cane sorry sugar uh, all these things from plants plants also gives us timber we get wood to make doors windows and furnitures for our house so we get the doors windows and furnitures to make our house decorative plants gives us fibers so plants gives us fibers for us like cotton fibers and jute fibers we'll get the cotton fibers also from to make clothes and uh, bed sheets covers and everything and jute fibers like ropes mats and gunny bags are used to make the from the jute fibers so clothes bed sheets are from the cotton fibers and ropes and mats from the jute fibers so all these are from the plants next plants gives us oil we get many oil from the seeds of these plants from the to get oil like coconut seeds and then mustard seeds and then sunflower from these seeds we'll get the oil and these oils are used for making cooking also at home next the medicinal plants we get some medicinal plants from home itself home remedies like uh, uh, tulasi and mint they are at near our house and we use them as medicines see tulasi and mint even the quinine and menthol seeds menthol uh, are also found only from the plants are obtained from the plants and spices from plants we get the many spices like cloves cumin cardamom chili and pepper and these spices add flavor to the food next perfumes from plants we get the perfumes only from the plants like these flowers jasmine flowers 
and then rose flowers. We get these flowers. From these flowers, we'll get the perfume smell. So rubber, we get the rubber from the plants. Like see, the, from rubber, we'll get eraser, tires, machines, parts of the machines, even cars, wheels, everything only from the plants, the product like rubber. And last, plants gives us oxygen. We'll breathe through this oxygen, isn't it? Only with the oxygen we can live. So these plants will take the carbon dioxide from us and give out the oxygen for us to breathe. So all these are only from the plants. We get many useful things from the plants. So we have to save plants. We should not cut the trees and plants. We have to grow plants, new plants for us. That's all for you, children. Thank you.